most of the times indian bookkeeping and finance professionals and accountants they hesitate to do international work because they don't know about the software that is used by international clients international clients don't use tally for example they use software like zoho books quick books zero wave and most of these softwares have remarkable similarities but it's very different from tally and guess what it's far far easier in the next few minutes i'm going to show you a demo of one such software called zero which is very widely used internationally i show you how to do some basic bookkeeping work and you will realize that it's easier to learn and work on than tally and once you know that you just have to know basic us gap principles and you can get started in fact for basic bookkeeping you don't even need to know that so let's begin so how do you get to zero how do you find it on the internet you can write zero on google go to the website and you can sign up for a free trial i have already done that so you can do this try zero for free it'll ask you to create an account for 30 days it's free you don't have to use any credit card so i'm using a free account and i'm going to just log in all right i'm going to say not now and it's going to open up now the good news is that you can create your own company and you can import data but to play around and practice it's a great idea to use their demo company feature so as you see here the demo company is loaded here now there is dummy data over here and that really gives you an idea of how the software works without having to put in your client's data so how do you use this when you are actually going to be working for an early stage startup or an sme or a professional in europe or us who wants to formalize the account get digital and they've got some traction then you will start first by implementing a few basic insights that i'm going to tell you first thing you will do is you will connect the bank account any us or european or international bank account can be connected directly you can add new bank accounts and it pulls in the transaction from the bank statement directly inside which means that a lot of manual accounting goes away so i click here and i can connect bank accounts from i click on add account and i can add accounts from different countries it has by default selected canada i have to change it to united states here and you can see these bank accounts so you can connect these you can click on it and then your client will have to provide bank details to pull in the feed and see it allows you to connect to zero and you can click on agree and continue i'm going to skip this right now but you still have to reconcile the items there because whatever is showing in the bank statement you need to make an accounting entry for that so it might be some payment or receipt against an invoice or against the bill so you'll have to match those things that is where you have to use this reconcile feature so we see here 27 items need to be reconciled and zero has used its internal algorithms to suggest or find out which might be the relevant reconcilable transactions and if it doesn't reconcile you can always create a new entry like here for example in in this case the ridgeway university transaction this reconciles you can just click on okay and it'll go in this second instance you see smart agency nothing is written here so i can create a new transaction and i can say this is smart agency it's a contact choose the account and i can enter a description and i can create a new transaction here this is also possible this may need to be done when you are reconciling now this is one function so what's going to be the next thing the next step is going to be to see the chart of accounts which is actually a list of all the accounts that there exist and this list can vary from business to business of course the broad big top level categories of accounts will be very similar for most businesses but then the sub categories will change so i click on accounting and i go to chart of accounts here and i can create new accounts here you can see there's sales there's any other revenue interest income cost of goods sold so some of these are pre created and you can add new accounts you can sub categorize them into an existing chart of accounts so you can say your click new account and there are basic categories which head should it go in like if i say abuda is capital account and it should go in equity then it'll go in like this and here you can write the name and you can say whether it's tax exempt or not suppose you buy some land you will have 
uh, fixed asset here. If you buy some new inventory, you can categorize here. Okay, so depending on the nature of the business, you can use it. All right. Now, the other thing you want to see is the everyday work that is going to be there, which is going to start from here. There's going to be invoices that your business is issuing. How are invoices issued? A lot of times there are B2B clients and you will customize a deal and you'll say, okay, $100,000 worth of payment and here you can do it. So you can custom generate invoices, but there can also be an integration with a payment gateway so that when you send this invoice, the client can pay through a PayPal or a Stripe, such an integration. So for now, you can put somebody's name. So I get added as a contact also, my email ID. These details are important to add. Otherwise, the contact details will be incomplete. And if they are incomplete, you will not be able to later trace or follow up with your clients. So you put in the address and many other things and the phone number and save. If you have multiple service products or physical products, you can create an item. What was the product or the service that was sold? And then you write the description. So here you could, for example, write names of different products that are there. And you can create an invoice accordingly. Now you can save and close the invoice. You can submit it to somebody else who will approve it in case you're working as a junior to somebody. You can also approve if you are in a senior position or if you are the one and final person, you can just approve and email the client that, look, this is the invoice and you need to pay. So I go ahead and now I can approve and email it. I can get link. I can get a PDF. Right? If I give this link to my client, they can view the invoice. If I set it up here, with a payment gateway, they can also pay. And I can click here. I can reach a payment gateway. Here you can see a huge list, right? So this is how it works. Then you can pay bills. Electricity, this bill, that bill, utilities. You can pay from here. Okay. Here you will record the amount and you will say I'm paying it. But the most important thing here is to then see your Reports. There are reports over here. For example, here. So I click on reports and I can see what kind of reports I can produce. These are pre-defined reports that are already built in, which means that you don't have to customize. For reporting purposes, you could use a profit and loss, statement of cash flows, balance sheet. These are the standard ones, right? But there is much more that you can use. I could, for example, see the business snapshot. What does it show in the business snapshot? Profitability, income, expenses, efficiency, net profit, gross profit, and my largest expenses, financial position. So everything in one go. And I can choose the time period I want it for. It could be last month, it could be last quarter, it could be last financial year. I could put in custom ranges. Now, this is a very basic snapshot of how do you get started working with zero. I could show you the final report because you may be interested in preparing for your client the balance sheet or profit and loss account. So I'll just click on one of these so that you can see it. Right? So you see it is coming here and you can choose the period. For example, 1st January 2023 in the US, their, their financial year ends with the calendar year. So you can see here is a profit and loss account. You can check other formats also. You can have a month to date comparison. There are many formats you can use. Now, this is all pre-configured. You don't have to break your head in figuring out software. It's pretty much plug and play. But yes, you've got to get your hands dirty on it. You have to play around, try it out. It's not so complicated. Did you realize that? That is the advantage. Now, imagine a few more things you learn and you could handle this software comfortably. And this is just one such software. There are five approximately common accounting softwares like Wave, Zoho Books, QuickBooks, but they all work on the same principle. And depending on the size of the business, the budget they have available, businesses use this. Let me know how did you find this video. I look forward to your feedback in the comments. And also let me know the topics on which you'd want me to create more videos.